All right, class, get out your notebooks. Today's question is this. If the Infiniti G37 is a BMW minus the pretension, minus the German heritage, and minus your neighbor's envy, what's a G37 minus the power? The answer to that question, it's called G25, and it's a new small displacement take on the Infiniti G formula. It looks and feels upscale, from the solid way the doors and trunks sound to the reassuring feedback from the steering and brakes. The interior is an obvious step up from the camcords, but it's done with fit and finish, not wood or carbon fiber. Instead, there's brushed aluminum and controls that respond with a precise click to each request. Everything lines up correctly, and the interior materials feel worthy of the price. This car, more than anything, indicates where Infinity is in the marketplace. The original G35 would have made no sense as a G25. The whole point of that car was it was crude and fast and much cheaper than the BMW. It wasn't until Infiniti raised their refinement and luxury and appointments game that something like this can work out. If you look at the people who buy a C300, 328i, IS250, none of those people are looking for sports car dynamics. They're not even looking for sports sedan dynamics. What they're looking for is entry-level luxury. Infinity is finally to the point where they feel they have something to offer these people. This car cannot cost a penny less to build than the G37, but it's priced almost $5,000 below the G37, which means that you get the interior, the appointments, the dynamics of the more expensive car for less money. If you don't care about how fast you're going, that's got to be a part of it. This is the second Infiniti we've tested where we have the combination of all-wheel drive and all-season tires. And it adds to the ride. This car rides very well, but it takes out a lot of that. The steering is artificially heavy, and I think it's meant to provide a feeling of quality. That's not necessary because, in general, this feels like a high-quality car. One way they could make this car really interesting would be to make it available with a six-speed manual. Small displacement V6, manual transmission, low equipment level, low price. It could be kind of the enthusiast's entry into Infiniti ownership. Instead, what we have is simply an entry into Infiniti ownership. No enthusiasm required. Isolation from road imperfections is good. Not only do we have pretty tall sidewalls, we've also got pretty unadventurous suspension tuning. This car is clearly biased towards ride at the expense of sporting pretensions. The ride of the car is good. It's pleasant to be in. We're in the hot pursuit of a local street racer. Hey, dude, what's up? Hey, dude. Dude, do you want to race? Let's go. Hey. I've got a skyline. Look at my skyline. Oh, it turns out he can't turn very well. Hey, man, we're filming a documentary on JDM culture, man. We, would you consider this a skyline? Skyline? Yeah, it's a Japanese skyline, right? It's not a skyline. Damn, I think you're right. All right, thank you. I think Infiniti has done a pretty good job of positioning themselves as the Japanese BMW alternative. I think that this car is going to draw a lot more looks from BMW and tenders than the IS250 is. Once those BMW and tenders land behind the driver's wheel, they've got some pleasant surprises coming. The interior is well constructed, the control surfaces are nice, it's feature filled compared to the comparable BMW. Let's stack it up against the competition real quick. G25 versus Accord V6, G25. G25 versus Camry V6, G25. G25 versus Altima V6. I mean, my God, you've got to be kidding, right? G25. I would just have to spend the extra money and get this car. Even though it's not that fast, it's just considerably nicer than those cars in a way that numbers can't describe. This makes it very easy to get into a luxury car. And given that Infinities have proven over the past decade to be durable and reliable, it's a luxury car that won't soak the buyer's wallet every time he does get in. It's not quick, and it's not loaded with features, but it's still worth a serious look. <laughs>